All right. Hello. And welcome once again to Football Without the Ball. Um, so if you're like me and you don't have a football, grab yourself a padded bench of some kind. Um, hopefully you do have a ball and you can use a ball instead. Uh, today's workout will be approximately 45 minutes. What you will need is heavy weight, as heavy as you can get. I have my milk jugs here, but if you can go heavier, please do. Um, and besides that, you'll also want medium weight. If you're not super heavy with your heavy weight, then just continue to use the heaviest you can find. I will not have music going, but if you have music that you want to play in the background, then please do. We do not because um, copyright issues. Uh, we don't want to get kicked off of YouTube. So once you have everything set up, you can follow along with me. We're going to start with some shoulder rolls for your warm up. So nice big shoulder rolls up to your ears and all the way down your back. And we'll switch directions. And we'll open those arms nice and wide. <laughs> Give yourself a big hug. Try not to hit anything. Keep those arms swinging. If you have a small space like me, that can be challenging. And we'll move into some rotations. So bring your feet nice and wide, rotate and touch your toes. Just feel a nice stretch through the back of your hamstrings. Try to turn those shoulders as much as you can. And we'll go for one more each way. Excellent. From there, we're going to move into some squats. So you can go as wide or as narrow as you'd like with your feet. You're just going to sit your hips down and back and stand up nice and tall. Keep your chest up. Keep those feet flat on the floor. You can think about pulling the floor apart with your feet and that will help to activate your glutes. Your knees should track in exactly the same direction as your toes. As you get warmer, you can go a bit faster or maybe get a bit lower in your squat. Let's go for about four more. Excellent. We're going to move into some side lunges. So just starting on one side, sit your hips down and back, feel a good stretch through this inner thigh, loading up this glute, pressing back to center, just getting those hips nice and mobile, getting those glutes activated. And then we'll add in an overhead reach. So as you step out, you're going to reach overhead, stretch out that side line. Should be starting to feel warm. One more this way. Excellent. Let's switch sides. So big side lunge to the side, lower those hips down and back, press back to center. Get a good stretch at the bottom here. Keep your chest up tall in that side lunge and add in your overhead reach. Excellent. Okay, so you should be feeling somewhat warm now. So get yourself ready. We're going to go into our first circuit, which we will complete 
three times, starting out with chest press, doing one arm at a time. So, what you wanna do is grab your heavy weight. You're gonna position yourself on the ball so that your shoulder and head are resting on the ball. Hips are up nice and high, so you have shoulders, hips, knees, all at the same level. And then you're just going to press that weight straight up and then back down. You're going for 10 presses on each side. And if you're using a heavy enough weight, it should get challenging around eight. Go for 10 on one side, 10 on the other. Move at your own pace. I'll just give you a bit of a different angle here. So you can see my body's in that nice straight line with my hips up. So switch sides at 10. Try to exhale as you push. Keeping that weight in line with your chest. Excellent. From there, we're gonna have some single arm bent over rows. And we're gonna incorporate a little bit of balance into these. So just using your hand lightly resting on that ball, keep your hips nice and square. Get the nice flat back and then lift that leg up so you have this nice T-shape with your body. Then with your heavy weight, you're gonna pull it straight up, moving that shoulder blade back towards your back pocket and then straightening that arm out. You're going for 10 rows. This is working your upper back, but by extending that other leg behind you, you're also working the entire lower back, glute and hamstring area as well. Keep it nice and controlled. You can pause for a split second at the top here, just to ensure that you're controlling that motion. Good. And when you reach your 10, just switch it around, doing the other side. So hand resting just gently on that ball, driving that elbow up to the ceiling. Shoulder blade goes down towards the back pockets. Neck is relaxed. Elbow squeezes in at your side. Lots to think about here. Going for 10 reps. Awesome job. You can put that heavy weight down to the side. And then we have roll out. So again, if we imagine that this is my ball, I'm gonna do a plank with my elbows on the ball. So if I was on a ball, I would extend that plank by rolling my arms out. I'd feel my core tighten up and then I'd roll it back in. So now because I don't have a ball, I'm just gonna walk my feet behind me. So you can see how this extends and then comes back in. So it's very much the same as doing rollouts on the ball. We're gonna do five of these. You're gonna roll out and hold and then come back in and you're gonna do that five times. The further you extend your body, the tougher it'll be. So just pay attention and just work with what works for you. So into that plank. Elbows on the ball, roll out, hold, and back in, that's one. Out and hold, and back in, two. Out and hold, three, two more, here we go. Out and hold, four, last one, out and hold, And back in, five. Awesome job. So from there, we're going to go into our first blast of the day. So grab your ball. If you don't have a ball, then grab something else of a similar weight. Today, 
I just have some cans. <laughs> Maybe I'll grab both cans to make it a little bit more substantial. So what I'm going to do is reach up overhead, drive those knees in. So the knee comes up, my elbows come in, I'm getting a good crunch here, and then I'm extending everything right out. I'm going as fast as I can, going for 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other. Are we ready? Here we go. Good job, drive that knee. Keep it up. Keep pushing. Three, two, and relax. Ready for the other side. Ready, go. 30 seconds, reach tall. Drive that knee. If you have a ball, you wanna be hitting it very hard with your knee. Make a lot of noise. Come on. Eight seconds. Two and one. Awesome job. We're going to repeat all of that two more times. So let's start with the chest press. Grab your heavy weight. I'm going to expand my dumbbell to two milk jugs. Do whatever works for you, but make sure you're not going to drop something on your head. So hips are up nice and high, going for 10 chest press, bending the elbow to about 90 degrees, pressing back up over your chest. You got this. 10 reps is what we're going for. I'm sure over time people get, will get more and more creative about what kind of weights they can hold in their hands. All right, going for 10 more, other side. Exhale as you push. Well done, okay. Let's move into our bent over rows. Keeping that nice flat back, using your hand just lightly on the ball for balance. Grabbing on to your heavy weight. So lift that leg up behind you, lightly balance here. Nice flat back, driving that elbow up to the ceiling and we're going for 10. Try to keep a nice, smooth, rhythmic breath going at all times. Switching sides at 10. Or if you feel the form start to fail before then, you don't want to push through that poor form. All right, lift that back leg, keep your hips nice and square. Relax your neck, drive the elbow to the ceiling. Nice work. Let's move into those rollouts. I'm going for five of these. Or on your bench, whatever. We need to get creative with our implements, right? Okay, so find that plank position. 
pushing back, hold. Nice tight core. And back in, that's one, we're going for five. Pushing out. And back in, that's two. Out. And in, that's three. Two more, you got this, out. And in, last one, out. Hold it here. And in. Whew, feels good. Super abs. All right. Knee jaws with that arm reach. You have a ball, you're holding it in your hands and you're driving your knee into it, reaching up nice and high, going for 30 seconds a side. Ready, here we go. Reach up, work the shoulders, drive that knee as fast as you can. Come on, keep that balance. Two, one, five seconds recovery here. Other side and go. Reach up, drive your knee. Can you go faster? Come on, two, one, and you can recover. Excellent work. Place those weights to the side. We have one more round of precisely the same thing. So let's start with your chest press, 10 per arm. Figure out the appropriate weight for yourself so it's challenging but still attainable. Hips up nice and high. Are we ready? Here we go. Keep those hips up. You should be in a nice flat tabletop. Last one here. Very nice. Sometimes the way the water moves in these jugs adds an extra stability challenge. It's kind of fun. All right, here we go. Get those hips up. Great job. Moving into those bent over rows for the final time. Just lightly positioning your hand on the ball just for a little bit of support. Nice flat back, extending that leg behind you, other leg, sorry. And here we go. So the leg that's on the ground is the same arm that's doing the lifting. Keep those hips square to the ground. Very nice. Let's switch sides when you're ready. You can move at your own pace. This is YouTube, you can press pause, whatever you need to do. Square hips, flat back, driving that elbow straight up. Awesome. 
Awesome. All right, we have our plank rollouts. One more time. So find that plank on your ball. We're going for five. Here we go. Walk it back or roll that ball forward and back. That's one. Extend, hold and back. Two. Extend and hold and back. That's three. Two more. Hold and back. Last one. Hold and back. Awesome. Final set of knee drives. Let's make these count. Grabbing your ball or your soup cans or whatever you have that can just add a little bit of weight to those shoulders. So they're getting a bit of a workout. 30 seconds per leg. Ready, go. Drive that knee, lift those arms straight overhead. Drive those elbows down. You got it. 10 seconds. Two and one, switch sides. Ready and go. Come on. Reach and crunch. Ten seconds. Two and one. Excellent. Grab a quick drink if you'd like. Catch your breath. Next up, we have an overhead single leg deadlift. So, if you have a ball, grab your ball. If you don't have a ball, then just grab, like I am, a couple of cans. What you want to do is hold these straight overhead and you're going to keep those arms straight overhead. You're going to tilt forward into your single leg deadlift and then back up. Try not to fall over. Doesn't help to try to watch the TV screen at the same time. We're going for 10 of these on each side. So arms are straight up. Keep that core tight. Keep those hips square to the ground and back up. Going for 10. Move at your own pace. Oop, reach those shoulders out or up, sorry. You're gonna feel them start to fatigue. That's okay, that's good, we wanna work them. Slow and controlled is ideal. That's five at my pace. Last one. All right, shake those arms out for a second. Moving on to the other leg. Going for 10 more. Arms up. Here we go. Hinging forward, standing up, trying to keep those arms straight overhead as much as you can. Be kind to yourself. If you can't quite keep them overhead, that's okay. But that's what you're fighting for. That's halfway. Come on, you got this. 
two more. Oof. Good, how oh, that burns my shoulders. So from there we have skull crushers. So grabbing your ball, positioning in that bridge again, just like we did for, maybe I'll change the angle here. Like, like we did for the chest press, we're gonna do skull crushers. So these are for your triceps, the backs of your arms. So grabbing some medium to heavy weights, probably not super heavy. Hips up nice and high. You're gonna keep your elbows facing straight towards the ceiling. You're gonna bring those weights beside your head and then you're going to extend it up here. So if you can see this arm collapsed, <laughs> I'm dealing with a bit of a shoulder injury, which I'm in denial about. So use a weight which is appropriate for you. So I guess I am relegated to the cans. <laughs> Hopefully you're doing a bit better than I am. But that is a hazard of a desk job. So that's why we want to do these exercises to help to strengthen those muscles. So arms straight up to the ceiling bend those cans or weights or whatever you have, keeping those elbows straight up, and then straighten your arms up to the ceiling. You're going for 10. Two more at my pace, hips up nice and high. Excellent. From there we have some crunches. So if you're on a ball, your lower back would be on the round part of the ball and you're going into extension and then crunching up. And if you're feeling really ambitious, you could take a weight, cross it across your collarbone and doing the same thing. So your option if you want to use a weight or not. If you have a smaller bench like me, you can still get into extension here. And if that doesn't work for you, then you can grab a pillow, put it under the small of your back and then go into extension that way on the floor. So do whichever version works for you. We're going to go for another 30 seconds of these starting now. Think about bringing your chest up to the ceiling. You want to feel a good stretch at the bottom there. And you're thinking about bringing your rib cage towards your hip bones at the top of your crunch. Two and one. Excellent work. Okay. Next, cardio blast or mountain climbers or high knees. So what you want to do, mountain climbers, you're in a high plank on the floor and you're going to drive your knees forward. High knees, you are standing up here and you are getting your knees as high as you can. Choose one of those or maybe switch at 30 seconds. We're going for one minute of continuous movement. I will demo both. Ready and here we go. Keep your shoulders right over top of your wrists. Keep that core engaged. Don't let your hips pop up. And if you're doing high knees, stay on your toes. Keep those ankles nice and stiff so that you rebound right off the floor. Keep it going. You're more than halfway. You got this. Fifteen seconds, come on. Two. 
two, one, and you can recover. Very nice, let's do that one more time. We're starting with the single leg deadlift, arms overhead, going for 10 on each side. So reach those arms right up overhead, try to keep them there as you hinge forward, and then back up. Try to keep your hips square to the ground. Moving at your own pace for 10 repetitions. Fight for that balance. Excellent. You can relax those shoulders in between legs and then reach right back up. Try to keep them tall. Here we go. Keep breathing nice and smooth. Last one at my pace. Oof, burns. Good job. Into those skull crushers. Whatever weight works for you. Obviously no judgment from me as I nurse this left arm back to health. So shoulders and head around that ball. Hips are nice and high. Elbows point towards the ceiling. Don't let those elbows move and you're just bending your arms, bringing the weights beside your head. Going for 10. Excellent work into those crunches. I'll do them with the pillow just for convenience. You do them with the ball or whatever works for you. But I really want you to think about getting extension into your lower back at the bottom of that crunch and then chest up to the ceiling. Let's go for 30 more seconds. You can add a weight if you'd like. Breathe out as you crunch. Ten more seconds. Two and one. Excellent work. All right, we have high knees or mountain climbers for the final time. One minute. I will rotate between the two. You choose what works for you. Ready? Here we go. Get those knees up nice and high. As fast as you can. Trying to be on the ball of your foot. Mountain climbers, making sure that you're keeping your shoulders directly over your wrists, driving those knees forward, not letting your hips pop up. You got this. Come on. Stand tall.
Keep pushing. Three, two, and recover. Very nice. We're into our last circuit. So we have a ball pass. So what you want to do, I'll use this pillow because it's nice and soft. But if you have a ball, use a ball or use something that if you drop it on yourself, it's not going to hurt you. Stuffed animal works really well. That is something that you have. So what you want to do is squeeze the ball between your legs, extend opposite arm and leg, and then pass it the other way, extend opposite arm and leg. The lower you go with your arms and your legs, the tougher it'll be. Also, the straighter you keep your arms and legs, the tougher it'll be. So just adjust as you need to. We'll go for 45 seconds. Ready, here we go. While you're doing this, you want to keep about keeping, think about keeping your back nice and flat. So when you lower your legs down, your back is not arching excessively off the floor. You should feel your core really tighten up, but you should not feel any pain in your lower back. Keep those abs nice and tight. You have 10 more seconds. Two, one, and relax, really good. We have three exercises left and then you get to stretch. So we're into our bird dogs. There's a few options here. So I'll just tilt this down a bit. See how ambitious you're feeling. I don't like limiting people. <laughs> so what you want to do is you're on your hands and legs, hands and knees, extend opposite arm and leg, keep everything nice and level, extend opposite arm and leg, keeping everything nice and level. Now if that's feeling not too challenging for you, then you're just going to come up so your knees are just an inch off the ground, extend opposite arm and leg, extend opposite arm and leg much tougher. It'd be very challenging to make it the full 45 in that second version. So maybe do a combo of the two or maybe stick to the first one. Your choice, but give it a go starting now. Everything extends out. Your torso stays nice and level. Imagining you have a wine glass on your back and you're trying not to spill it. More advanced version, just hover those knees above the ground. Don't let them come any further above the ground. That's cheating. Oof, that's tough. Keep it up. Give me 15 more seconds. Final five. And relax, very good. Next up, we have a V-sit twist. So grabbing onto your ball or something of a similar weight to your ball. Oh, I'll use a muck jug actually. We're doing a V-sit twist. So you're holding on to that ball with both hands. You're sitting up nice and tall, chest up and lean back till you feel your core engage. You're just gonna twist side to side, rotating the shoulders. The further back you lean, the tougher it will be. Going for another 45 seconds. Ready, here we go. So if you feel this in your lower back, it means you need to keep your chest up even taller, maybe sit up a little higher. And if you're feeling like, oh, Joanna, this is way too easy, then just lean back a bit further, keep that chest up, and you will feel it's much more challenging. Turn those shoulders, get that full range. If you're feeling very ambitious from there, you can straighten your arms out. That will add even more torque, but keep it nice and controlled. 10 more seconds. Two and one. 
Awesome. Last one before we get to stretch our Supermans. You're just on your belly here. What I want you to do is have your hands by your head, elbows back. You're just lifting everything up, keeping your legs nice and extended and just tapping back down before lifting, lifting up again. Going for 45, ready, here we go. Keep your breathing nice and rhythmic. Elbows pulled back. Give me 10 more seconds. Two and one. Awesome job. Let's stretch it out. So what you can do is bring your knees nice and wide. Sit your hips back onto your heels and walk your hands overhead, resting your forehead on the floor, just relaxing into child's pose. Take some deep breaths here. Walk your hands over to one side and then press your shoulder down into the floor so you feel a stretch all the way up that sideline. And then walk your hands over to the other side, press the other shoulder down into the ground, stretching out that side. Excellent. Come on up to a lunge position. Bring your one foot forward, bending this knee at 90 degrees. Keep your tailbone tucked and then push your hip forward till you feel a stretch through the front of your hip. Take your arm up or reach up and over, stretching up this whole side. Hold it there. Then you'll sit your hip back, lean forward, feel a stretch in the back of that leg in the hamstring. And we'll switch sides. Starting with that hip flexor stretch, so keeping your tailbone tucked, pushing your hip forward, feel that stretch in the front of your hip, reaching up and over. Then set your hips back, lean forward. Feel that stretch into the back of your leg. All right, let's stand it up. And we're going to stretch out the chest, interlock those fingers behind your back, roll your shoulders down and back. And if you can, just lift those arms up behind you. Hold it there. Awesome job. Thank you all for joining me and I will see you next week. For more football, have a great day.